This month is Denver 7's 70th anniversary, and for the past few weeks, Jessica and I have had a ball looking through hundreds of old photos of this great TV station. It's been a blast from the past, and we both noticed a couple of things that have changed so much. The technology, the equipment, as well as how elections were handled. So, she and I picked a bunch of photos. We want to share those photos with you. So let's start with these great old pictures of election coverage here at Denver 7. Uh, first of all, the, just the, the setup is great, and I love that it's sponsored. Right there, there's not a commercial. It's just Westinghouse presents the election headquarters. And just take a look. They have newspapers. They are smoking in the studio, <laughs> which we would never get away with today. No, they wouldn't. And uh, Goldwater Johnson. Okay, so the, the board you saw behind them, they were manually, like the old uh, baseball scoreboard, those are pieces of tape that are looped with numbers on them so they can update election results manually throughout the evening. So great. That's fantastic. And just look how, how many people are in the studio. The cameras are humongous. <laughs> Uh, and the, everything is done by hand. It's all done with paper. And I don't want to spoil it here, but Johnson beat Goldwater oh. in, in that particular election right there. <laughs> and I think we have a shot here of Tony Kopaleski. This was from November, the last election, and he's doing it all with the big board digitally. He Everything comes in from the Secretary of State's office instantly into our systems, and he's able to click and move and go through the data and, and update you guys. Yeah, and those old-timey guys would think this is pure witchcraft if they could see it today. This is an old audio uh, patch board. He's patching through different audio sources. We've moved on to the equipment section and how much things have changed there. That is crazy. <laughs> things would have been a lot slower <laughs> think, a lot using slower, an, an yeah. audio patch board. And take a look at this field crew that so, is out. So this is, so that's a report, I think his name was John Neal, and then he has a cameraman, and then the guy standing next to him is holding the tape recorder for that camera. So he had a completely separate device there. And this, we had to develop film. Oh, we didn't. Yeah, that was. We didn't. <laughs> But I still think I was the last generation to even work with tapes, and you would have to line them up in order, right. have them queued up so the director would uh, have call them up, and you'd have to be ready. And this is the state-of-the-art KLZ, which was the call letters before KMGH, um, uh, a mobile unit, and I love the antennas on top of that. And now we're getting a little further ahead in time. This is uh, some festival that uh, we were covering. You see uh, satellite dishes have started to make an appearance there. <laughs> Just look how large the equipment was to go live. This is one of our trucks today, uh, also very large but there's a lot more computers and things inside that just make our life more comfortable out on the field. And we don't even need these anymore. We actually go live with just a backpack and our camera and a couple of lights. We can be anywhere we need to be. And so quickly. And, and so quickly. And, and, and so, so much convenient. lighter. On the people, these poor people <laughs> have to lug the stuff around. So this was an old pneumatic tube. Remember at the banks, you'd stick your thing and it'd go, and the bank teller would get it and shoom, send it back to you. That's how, that was a system inside this building, how they would get information That's from one side to the other. how they would move paper around. And you can see just how much paper is on the newsroom desks, and people are smoking, there's typewriters. I love he's using a pack of cigarettes to hold his cigarette. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's good thinking there. That's multitasking. Uh, and this is our newsroom today. I took these last week, and you can see our newsroom is flooded with computers like your offices are. Uh, we have a lot of monitors that monitor everything. Let's take a look at the newsroom and the diversity. Um, you know, there wasn't a lot of diversity back in the day. And I count one female so by my count. So many things have changed. Uh, there, it's just incredible to see how our newsroom has flourished with different well, perspectives. The industry too, yeah, and, as, a, and, as, and a, the as a whole. And then. This is a I photo of me, Ann, and uh, uh, Stacy, and I can't imagine what the folks back in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s would have thought seeing three women on the desk. Sometimes we still get emails about this today. Would they be more shocked with, with this or with yes. Tony on his magic board? I don't know. And this was Pride from a couple of years ago, and this is our whole newsroom participating, and I think we're really proud of the diversity, Absolutely. the inclusion, the different perspectives that we have to tell your story. So, as you might notice, we had a ball going through all these photos, <laughs> And you can look through these photos yourself. We have a special 70th anniversary section of Denver7.com.